Chapter 2 Pawn Endgames The pawn endgames form the foundation of endgame theory. You should study them carefully so that whenever an exchange into a pawn and endgame is possible you will should be able to judge quickly if the pawn endgame is won, lost or drawn. And this is possible, uh, many times possible, due to the restricted nature of pawn endgames. There are just, just not so many moves possible by both sides, and the number of motives is quite limited, so it is possible for you to master a lot of them, compared with the other more complicated endgames. Let me start with the rule of the square. A pass pawn, which is not supported by its own king, wants to run to promotion. And the question is, will the defending king catch it in time or not? And to be able to easily determine th this, um, you draw the diagonal from the pass pawn to the back rank. And then... Um, Make a make a square out of it. The square is now from a3 to f3 to f8 to a8 to a3. And the rule is as follows. If the defending king to move is able to move inside the square, then it will catch the pawn in time. And if not, then the pawn will promote. For this position, this corresponds to, if white is to move, he wins, because he plays a4. And now the new square, please uh, make the square for yourself first. And now I reveal it is of course from a4 to e8 and completed to a square. And black's king is not able to reach the square. And white's pawn will promote alone. Now the square is from a5 to d5 to d8. Black's king cannot reach it again, and the procedure repeats itself. And the pawn finally promotes. With black to move, it's different, of course. Black could move into the square with king f3 or king f4 and catch the pawn and the game will end in a draw. For instance, king f4, a4, king e5, a5, king d6, a6, king c7, a7, and now the king catches the pawn with king b7 and the game will end in a draw. This rule has one ex important exception, of course, if the passed pawn is on its second rank. So if the pawn would be on a2 here, then you could not just simply draw the square due to the double step of the pawn. In this case, in case of a pawn on its second rank, you must uh, draw the square as if the pawn were on its third rank. So for the pawn on a2, the square is the same as for the pawn on a3 and the square is already given here. This is also the square for a pawn on a2, which corresponds to that white to move wins with a4, a2, a4, and black king can't reach the square, a4, e4, e8. And black to move could reach the given square with king f3 and king f4 and will be able to catch the pawn and to draw. To make you for more familiar with this rule, I m will show you one famous classic. First, first, you should try to solve Rady's famous masterpiece for yourself. White to move and draw. I know this looks at first sight very unlikely, as White's king is... How on earth shall White's king be able to stop the past age pawn? The square is from h5 to d5 to d1, to h1 to h5, and black, white's king is very far away from the 
from the square and black's king is of course inside the square of white's c pawn and so easily able to stop it so how on earth is this uh, going to be drawn think for yourself for a moment At first, king g7 must be right. It must be a king move. And king g7 must just be better than king h7 or king g7. There is no reason why one of the other moves can be be could be better. So you can start with this. Black's past pawn will just run. Now the square is like this. And it has not become better. White's king cannot enter it. So it continues in the same way with king f6. And now the point of the study is a bit more revealed. As white king now threatens to help its own passed pawn promoting. White king threatens king e7, after which it will the promotion of white's pawn cannot be stopped and a, a drawn endgame with king and queen against king and queen will arise. So black must... Um, stop the threat if uh, he just continues to advance his past pawn then white executes his threat and the pawn is finally promoted and the position is completely drawn but what to do now of course white has to continue in the same way with king e5 with the double threat king d6 to help its own prawn promote or to enter the square with king f4 or king e4, both entering the square of the h4 pawn. So that after king takes c6, it just enters the square and yeah, catches the pawn in time and the game is drawn. Or the pawn runs and then white's pawn uh, can promote as well with the help of its king. And the resulting queen and game is completely drawn. Yeah, the, you should be able to master this rule of the square by heart. Draw this diagonal from the past pawn to the back rank of the opponent, then complete it to square. And if the defending king to move can move into the square, then it will reach the pawn in time. And if not, then the past pawn will promote on its own.